All right, guys, here we go to the sanctuary. I think the other HV maneuvers better than this thing does. Well, this thing, I mean, this thing has got a lot of weight on it, but... But yeah, yeah, we're, uh, yeah, mountains we go. I mean, it's not being slowed down that much. Whoa, crap. Ooh, we're flying. Up, up, up we go. Yeah. This thing still handles pretty nicely. And it is way down a little bit, too. There's a sanctuary across the mountain range. Let's go see what's there. Ooh, looks like there might be some little POIs to do also. So that's super exciting. Oh, here we go. Woohoo! Small wreckages. All right. Tell us what to do next. Talk to the guards in the center of the building. Submerged tank? Is that the good submerged tank, I wonder? There seems to be some that are good and some that are bad. Let's, let's go check it out. Yeah, okay. Okay, FV. That just switching views. Oh, it looks like this is the one I like. Yes, yes, I think it is. Awesome. So this is actually pretty nice. If you find one of these, there's multiple variations, I believe, and this is named slightly differently, but there's actually some decent loot in here. I mean, there's a couple spiders you gotta kill, but, you know, whatever. Easy enough. I think there's three or four spires that spawn. Any more? Just one today? Okay. Well, we'll loot ya. Gotta love that meat. There's like three containers in here, which is pretty freaking awesome. Assault shotgun, Neodysium, some neat stuff. I mean, for what you gotta do, it's pretty worth it. Some Sathium, some radiation booster, that'd be good. And some small health packs. All right. Only thing is here, you gotta be careful because it is possible to get trapped if you. Uh... Oh, there you are. No, there's more than one. Reload and reload and. Thank you for your contribution. And our last little loot crate is. Titanium, multi tools, assault rifles, just some basic supplies. Okay, fine. It'll be difficult. So, this in the fridge. Let's go to our cargo box, which I think is full. Not quite. Do I need this? Do I have a radiation boost on? No, oh, I have an EV and a multi boost. That's a little better, anyways. Suit's kind of tore up, but whatever. Alright, so let's, um,. So the radiation booster in there for now, for sure. Um, these guns could be sold. Always nice. Assault shotgun. And those in there. All right, let's go back to the chest. And we'll take that stuff too. Very nice. Flamethrower. Interesting. I think that's all that's here. I think there's just three containers. Which, pretty worth it, I feel, for just killing like two spiders. So you find it, definitely go and check it out. All right, as I said, you gotta watch it because if you're not careful, you can get stuck in here. I mean, obviously, this is you know, it it uh, it doesn't have a core, so you could potentially salvage your way out. But still, up up we go. All right, that was super exciting. What else do we got around here? Hmm. Thing is getting heavier and heavier and heavier. This doesn't have a ton of space, but it's enough. Don't really feel like I need a flamethrower right now. I probably should sell it. Another multi tool, too. We already have one of those, so we don't need that. And another multi tool, too. So, yeah, we have multiple things to sell, which is good. And this fuel. My goodness, it's a lot of fuel. Uh, here we go. Alright. Keep the meds for now. And let's see what else there is in the area. I know I saw some stuff that kind of glowed up, so I kind of want to go check it out. Probably should put a light on this thing. It doesn't have one. It really needs one. Yeah, let's go see what this is. 
Copper deposit. That was good. Come on, chip. Oh, we're too heavy. Fine. I mean, I'm kind of weighed down, truthfully. Let me just go up this way. Underground bunker? That sounds like it might be fun to check out. I don't think that's one of the hard ones. Alright, let's deal with this dude. Hello, dude. Great, this shotgun does more damage. <laughs> Reloading. Give me your goodies. Very nice. I think this is all been taxed, if I'm not mistaken. Tax it again, a good place to get for tax it. Is on the mountains. Let's leave my HV there. Let's go investigate this thing. That might be fun. It looks like there's also something else. Alright. Oh, underground bunker. <laughs> That's not a POI. That's literally a like little base thing that you can have. Not much here. Go in here. Well, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Let's go down to investigate, guys. Never done this, so... Watch out, don't fall to my death. Oh, it's nothing. It's just little... Hmm. Maybe there's something here. Wardrobe. Sure. Sure. Take a shower, wash out the little radiation we have. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's go investigate this abandoned bunker. Oh. Got some food. Might need that pretty soon. You're getting a little low. This goes down. Hmm. Ooh. This is interesting. I like it. Let's see what I got. Come back here, truthfully. I don't have that much space. I thought my HV. I need the SV. More storage capacity. Actually, the HVI. My SV I'm going to bring in doesn't have that much capacity, but I have another one that's a tier 2. Level 12 spawn I'm going to bring in next. And that one's got a warp drive and everything, so. That's exciting. Got the charges. Um, well, there's a core. Twenty-six draw. It doesn't seem like there's much to this, so it just must be a, just a random point of interest. Doesn't see any enemies or anything. Got some good loot though. Of course, I can't take it with me right now, which kind of is unfortunate, but that's fine. I'm getting full up on spaces. Really a whole lot here. Oxygen, 300. Huh. Some music components, but that seems to be about it. Alright. Not very exciting, guys. Oh well. <laughs> Continue our exploration. Guys, okay, so so don't do that. Yeah. Oh well. 
And I thought I'd just harvest that little thing up there and <laughs> blow up most of the majority of this place. So that's fun. But what do we got? Um. What were we connected to? Were we connected to anything? No, we weren't. Alright. Alright, well that's kind of unfortunate. Oh well, I guess I'll just sell what's just left. Don't take the radar off. <laughs> Other else, it all collapses. So, now you know. Yeah. Alright. Well, I wouldn't sell it anything until you make sure you got the loot. Because I sell it something else, and it freaked me through the whole entire place. So, jeez. <laughs> All right, fun times. All right, guys, shall we head to the sanctuary, which is really close by? Yeah, Polaris Sanctuary, super close by. Let's go check it out. Get the story mode started. Again, guys, I might try to read a little bit, but it just it slows down the game progression so much, so most likely end up reading most of it by yourself. Hmm, that's fine, though. Ooh. Let's go to the sanctuary. Alright. Oh, so you can just hang out right there. Let's let it sit. Alright, shall we go investigate? The sanctuary approach the station. Check, check, check. Get an appointment. Hmm. Hello? You got an appointment for me? No. You are not it either. Usually it gives you an indicator where you're supposed to go. Mm. Can't open up the door, that's lame. Where's guard? What do you want? Speaking to the commander of the station. Ha! Ha ha! Sure. You and the rest of the effing planet. Who do you think you are? Don't waste my time. Mmm, Dr. Mandor sent me. So the doctor sent you. Wonderful. Then I better contact the committee and announce your arrival with trumpets and fanfares. Do I look like an idiot? Get out of my sight or all. Oh, I'm getting a call. Who will that be? Possibly someone with nice advice to throw you out of the station or arrest you right away. Better answer that call. <laughs> Seems like you said the truth, my pardon. Screw you, dude. You're an asshole. Things are becoming a bit rough the last few days, and there are too few of us to predict sanctuary anyways. You see the elevator behind me? Group. Go up one level, then go to the right. Hurry up. Carver is waiting for you. Thanks. Douchebag. This looks like it might be a glitch. Huh. I didn't. Maybe it's not. Command. Hey, dude, how's it going? Hello, sir. I heard the doctor was sending you over. May I ask what reason for him being an available person? He wanted me to fetch some of his equipment. Uh, oh no, not that again. Gosh. I am not his personal secretary. He can he can send his minions to me. I am the commander of this freaking station. Surrounded by ah, oh, forget it. Please go back to the elevator and one level up. Find the assistant castle up there somewhere. He manage manages to quit with the doctor while you are at it. Tell him that we shall make sure that the time that this time nothing is left here. Okay. The station is not very friendly. Should I blow it up, guys? No, we want the players as our allies, even though these guys are kind of douchebags. Okay. What do we got here? Am I a doctor? I expect the ability requires a Ricky. Okay. Now that is not who I need to talk to. You can get stuff out of these boxes. You just gotta be careful because if you get the wrong box, then they get mad at you and they shoot you and you die. Okay, this dude. 
Ah, there you are. Kessel. How's it going, Kessel? So, Dr. Mandor has sent you over to bring me some precious presents. So valuable that he gave them to a stranger. What are you carrying around? What you are carrying around might be a key element to understand what is going on here and... How is it, Doctor? No worries. He's fine. The extraction team has picked him up. Back to topic. What about this data he was so excited about? Hand over space anomalies report. Hmm. They are encrypted. It'll take a while. Security measures, you know. Our Xerox friends might even have understood whom. May, might not have understood who, whom they had in their filthy hands. Something else? Promised info about Operation Phoenix Survivors. Hmm, he promised that really? Save it or not? I think that's a bit too much to ask for classified information in our juvenile acquaintance, don't you think? Beyond that, it is not to me to give you that info, but maybe you can try to convince me that I can trust you and we'll see what I can do. How does that sound? Sounds like a fair deal. Very nice. Listen. I was in contact with a talent named Kidon. I hear a remote planet, which was used by our people, as well as far as I know, we are both searching for some technical artifacts that are hidden in old burial chambers. You found some of the planets, planet already, and there here becomes a problem. I am saying it was used because the Xerix have attacked that site, and I am not sure if Caden or others made it out of there alive. But for those artifacts, he found out, he found out. Are, are out of our our reach. Then I so hard to read. I'm so bad. And I'm afraid we cannot wait until we are possibly able to meet again. Things are heating up, and time is running fast. Luckily, there is a braille chamber on this planet nearby the sanctuary. It's similar to the one on the training planet. Of course, we cannot simply go there. That would for sure arouse the Xerox troops. They are already looking at our activities with some suspicion. So you are sending me in, correct? Let's plan, head to the burial chamber and search for the technical artifacts. Watch out for everything else that might be interesting and bring it over here. And we'll talk again. We'll be right back. Uh, what do you think, guys? And the burial chamber is an episode of itself, but there wasn't that much in this episode. Um, uh, boy. No, I don't know how long this actually takes, so. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Hit that subscribe button. Click on the bell to be notified when I release new content. I release new content periodically. I release uh, usually a gaming video every week, and I try to do a vlog every other week. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see when I do release new content. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I know this is kind of boring because it's just a story mode. So I don't know. But it is a training video, so I'll take you guys to that as well. But yeah, I think with that said, until next time, keep surviving. Bye, guys! One thing I really like they came out with in Brunch Eden was what's called a salvage core. It makes it a lot easier to salvage stuff, and it's pretty easy to make, actually. You can make it in a small constructor. And then go here, this icon right here. And that's a selfish core. Just take some basic components, but essentially you can slap that in, and then you can salvage it. You can get full parts back, which is very, very nice. So, yeah, awesome. I like it.